Hello friends and welcome to this edition of Newegg TV Platinum. We begin as always with a reminder that Newegg TV Platinum is a premium service and we ask that viewers who have not recently paid the mildly exorbitant subscription charges kindly leave the room. We'll just give them a moment. Now that the proles have scurried off, I can more comfortably address the noble patricians who represent the heart and soul of Newegg TV Platinum. Today I have a special treat for your more refined palettes in the form of the beastly array of PC componentry that you see right here. These graphics cards are NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780 Ti's and they have been hand selected for your viewing pleasure. This visual feast is none other than a four-way SLI configuration. It represents the most extreme and most powerful consumer GPU configuration that is currently available. I see that some of you have blanched at this suggestion, for after all, is not the GTX Titan the most expensive gaming GPU on the market? Yes, dear friends, it undoubtedly costs more, but the GTX 780 Ti has been proven to show better performance for 3D gaming. I realize that this suggestion might smack of the distasteful price-to-performance comparison that the slovenly masses so often seek after with their budgets and their need to set aside some of their money for food and electricity. Nevertheless, if you want the fastest gaming PC that money can buy to go along with your fastest car, your biggest yacht, your most luxurious private jet, and your most gaudily plumed snowy egret, 4-way GeForce GTX 780 Ti is the way to go. You might also notice that we are using an array of these cards, ranging from NVIDIA's reference design to a couple custom solutions from PNY and Gigabyte. I will now share some benchmarks as a display of 3D gaming dominance. Our testing platform is the best that money can buy. Not that money is of any importance to the likes of us, of course. The CPU is an Intel Core i7-4960X clocked to 4.5 GHz, kept chilly by a Cooler Master Sidon 120XL closed-loop cooler. The motherboard is an Asus Rampage 4 formula with 16GB of G-Skill Trident X DDR3 memory running at 2400MHz. A SanDisk Ultra Plus 256GB SSD contains our Windows 7 64-bit operating system and an array of games and benchmarks. And the whole affair is housed in an in-win D-frame chassis and powered by a Rosewill Hercules 1600W power supply. As a special thank you to our Newegg TV Platinum members, I've also taken the time to overclock our four-way configuration by about 10%, and I've included those numbers as well. Enjoy. As you can see, adding more video cards to your system will get you additional performance. I suppose I should point out that these improvements do not scale in a linear fashion, particularly after you move past a two-way configuration, and especially in Metro Last Light, I don't really know what's up with that. Of course, any gain is a win when money is no object, and I know that our only lament is that we cannot add a fifth, sixth, or seventh card to give ourselves another few frames per second, and another means of laying waste to our enemies on the virtual battlefield. That will be all for this episode of Newegg TV Platinum, and don't forget to use that golden like button on your way out. Remember, it deprives a needy family of food and puts an extra $2 in your pocket every time you do. We'll see you all again very soon.